What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Got a nice little fun casual duel for you guys to check out. We have an Aromage sighting in this duel, an archetype that I have been very outspoken about. You guys know my feelings because they're very public. I personally believe that Aromas are the worst archetype in the entire Art V era. People have told me I'm wrong. They say I'm being too harsh on the deck. And uh, this is a more interesting take on Aromages because obviously you can see in his opening hand, he is playing some metaphors in here, so a little bit of a different build and i thought it was pretty interesting he's playing enchanted javelin which i was just like oh my god and it, it made me feel kind of uh really old because i played this card when i was first kind of learning how to play Yu-Gi-Oh when i was a teenager and obviously enchanted javelin is a super old card i think 2003 ish feral servant basically when your opponent attacks you negate that attack and then you get the uh you get the life points equal to the monster's attack uh it, it's a really wonky card but i guess possibly it could work in this deck let's see exactly how it's going to work out he's playing against ancient gears at the top definitely uh it was kind of the flop of the two structure decks dinos obviously took off and did some good things on the regional level I, uh, ancient gears really didn't do anything he just kind of starts uh defensively two card set and another monster set Obviously, that's not what you want to do if you're playing Ancient Gears. You're trying to be going in. I don't think Ancient Gears are honestly that good going first. Now, he did open with Aroma Garden, and he was going to get a card with Jasmine. That's why I think the Solemn Strike was used to respond. He does blow up his own Aroma Garden with the Metaphos card. I don't know if that's worth. I mean, it does give you life points constantly, but he has the Human Winds. Uh, it looks like his field's open, and he goes into Gear Gain X, and I believe he's going to take a quick direct shot. Nope, he's going to use that Enchanted Javelin. <laughs> <laughs> so he actually uh he gained oh my, my bad it doesn't make it doesn't negate the attack that was a mistake you just gain the life point so it essentially kind it, it does kind of negate the attack if you're taking a direct attack but you won't get a net gain of them life points so anyways he's summoning his aromas and at this point He's going to use Super Solar Nutrient, and he turns that into a Lone Fire Blossom. And he's actually pretty good. He has Bismuth Gear, and then he's going to Synchro right quick. I believe he might Fusion Summon. No, he just got the Metaphos Fusion, but he is going to Fusion Summon later in the duel. Now, at this point, you look at the the kind of um, the layout of the game, and you're like, man, he's he's kind of rocking and rolling with the, uh, the Aromas, because clearly Aromas is a deck that doesn't have any problems gaining life points, and he's been over 8,000 consistently. He's at uh, 8,100 right now, so this ancient gear guy definitely has to get to work because he's only at 2900 and uh, i mean his rosemary is actually 3000 attack so he activates gear town He's going to get himself a nice little search, but once Gear Town gets blown up, he'll get the Wyvern, and he'll get another monster uh, from his deck, I believe, which he gets Hound. I think he's trying to uh, fusion summon here. He goes for, yeah, he goes for the, what's it called, the Chaos Giants. I was like, that's cool. I thought maybe he should have went something went for something different, but when you combine that with Utopia the Lightning, he is doing massive amounts of damage right here, especially if you use Lightning's uh, double attack, but he doesn't opt to use that, and when I say double attack, I mean the effect to obviously double it, and he did get him down to 3500 the problem is with aromas if you don't really get them like if you don't knock them out they will get those life points back you see he's already at 4000 now he goes for um uh, mithril which i believe he's going to i believe that's going to get responded so yeah he activates trap trick trap all nightmare because apparently we're in 2015 but he says nope i'm gonna go full metaphors fusion and i'm gonna get rid of that and obviously, uh, Mithrium's attack or Mithrium's effect is going to activate and it replaces it. So now this was the point where I thought that he was going to come back because I was kind of questioning if he had the playmaking ability to get through a Utopia the Lightning and a Chaos Giant, but he actually makes full Metaphors Alkahist and he actually has this guy sitting on 5,000 defense, which is pretty damn incredible. I, we should probably have a word counter on how many times I've said the word actually in this duel. <laughs> now he starts playing kind of defensively. He summons Ancient Gear Devil and... I thought that is if I, I honestly thought if he couldn't get rid of Alkahist that that card would just literally kill him because how many like I don't think ancient gears don't really they don't really uh what, what's the word I'm looking for they don't specialize in monster removal they they kind of specialize in doing a lot of damage and spell and trap suppression. So that's really not their forte. You see full metaphors. Alkahis is basically eating up the Utopia. And it's just constantly going to be eating up monsters. He summons another copy of Rosemary. I believe he might fusion summon again. Or this might be this might be the end of the line. Now the cool thing is Devil actually does replace itself. The problem is he has like this Rosemary is just so big. It's 3,500 attack. And then the Reactor Dragon is just going to get eaten up too. So at this point when he's able to Pendulum Summon. I was like oh, I think he's just going to close the game. He is going to fusion summon again. 
and he's going to use that double piercing damage from Aura Hawk. I'm pretty sure that's going to close out the game uh, as he's going to attack into, oh yeah, Silver Gadget. That's <laughs> There's no way Silver Gadget's going to survive that. Even if he would have been at 8,000 life points, there's a decent chance he might have actually got OTK Wolves instead. I'm, I'm just seeing if it was like a full Metaphose Fusion. No, it was another copy of Enchanted Javelin. But just a very interesting match. Uh, kind of, you know, cool to see Aromas actually do something uh, somewhat impressive. A lot of Fusion Summoning, a lot of Synchro Summoning. I think he summoned three different Fusion Monsters, maybe four Fusion Monsters. And I think he, uh, what's it called? He, he fused, I think, four times, and then he probably synchroed twice for Rosemary both times. But anyways, just a nice little fun duel, definitely casual. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already.